Hello everyone, I've got a card for you today and it's called a Sparkly Rose card and I'm using a stamp from Old New and also watercolour markers from Old New as well. Uh, I'm colouring on watercolour paper and I am basically, well I had die cut the background using a Simon Says die and I'm just stamping the image onto that die cut piece and I'm using Versamark ink and usually when I'm when I'm stamping with Versamark ink and therefore using embossing powder I like to stamp twice I mean you might not need to but I do just to be on the safe side really I want to make sure that it's really sticky and I hadn't forgotten anything and well it's just kind of become the norm for me I guess and I'm using my Misty you don't have to use a Misty of course not but I do prefer using it especially when I need to double stamp and plus it is really handy and the embossing powder I'm using is from Simon Says Stamp and it is called a uh, vintage gold or antique gold sorry and I keep this in this little box to help me keep my space a bit cleaner of course it's not perfectly clean as you can see there's a bit of powder here and there but it does help believe me and then I heat embossed the image with my heat tool and just make sure that it was completely cooled down before I start it. And I start by adding water to the image just using my water brush. And then I am adding colour using the uh, watercolour markers from Old New. And I am just dabbing a bit of colour here and there and then I use my brush which only has water in it to um, move the colour around and trying to create darker and lighter spots here and there and well I'm basically just having fun colouring I'm not paying too much of attention to the light source and stuff like that I am basically just having fun and I'm just going by what I think might look good and I find that I have better control if I add water to the image first instead of adding just the uh, watercolour or well, at least it helps me a bit and I'm using well, first of all I used one colour and then when I finish doing the uh, first colour or the base colour you might say and the image has dried I return to that same spot with that same colour usually or you can of course use a darker colour but this is just a simple image so I'm not adding too much of um, technique here really so to do the same colour to add a bit more of dimension to the flowers and the leaves. And that way, I guess I'm adding a touch of shadow really. And then I basically use the watercolour and marker itself. Because if I would use too much water, it would dilute it a bit. But of course, you can just make sure that your brush isn't that wet. And I don't usually squeeze uh, the handle so that the water doesn't get everywhere. Unless I need to, of course. And now that I've coloured the image and I'm happy with the way it looks, I wanted to add 
splatters to the background really and I'm just using leftovers from the markers that I placed on the uh, watercolor board and I'm just adding a bit of water and a very fine brush and just adding those splatters here and there because I do like to add splatters to well everything I create really <laughs> Now, since it's a simple card and this image is the focal point, I am using the double sided foam sheets from scrap.com and I'm just adding that to the background. I'm just cutting it down to size so that I'm not wasting any of my precious foam. And I cut it down and then I just stick it to the back. And since, since this foam already has adhesive on it it makes my life ever so easy and this foam is really nice it doesn't squish easily so it should hold up in, in an envelope I really like it it's absolutely fabulous to work with and then I just stick the uh, whole thing to my card base which I had already cut and it's a standard A2 size card and even though this is a very simple card focusing on the uh, image and the color I am adding some jewels to the mix and these jewels are from Pretty Pink Posh and I have this really nice box that houses my jewels and then I have this tiny little jar that I use to help me pick uh, which size I want and I'm just using these uh, the jewel picker tool I have found that well I've had it for quite some time and I found that it loses its stick so I just usually have a damp cloth nearby or a tiny little bit of water and just dab it in there to revive the stickiness I guess and then I just use liquid glue to stick those jewels where I want them. I'm just placing them where I think they will look pretty. And that is the cart. And here are some photos if you want to have a closer look. And I will have links to all the supplies I use down below. And of course, if you like this video, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. So until next time, bye.